the most important teaching of gita is you should understand that your real anchor is the self within the personality you should understand that i am not the body but the body i have a body not that i am the body so always we should start thinking about and reflecting upon the self that focus should be there regarding the other matters a man has to develop a kind of a compassion for the entire world you know in two places in bhagavad gita krishna uses a word sarva bhuta hitaye rada people are generally interested in the welfare of their family and relatives how many people can you pick up to say that i am interested in the welfare of the whole world how many will say like that so bhagavad gita says you must have this universal dimension even for yogis he says it's not sufficient if they sit meditate and carry on they must be interested in sarva bhuta hitaye rada they must be interested in the welfare of all creatures he has used this expression in the 5th chapter 25th verse and the 12th chapter 4th verse sarva bhuta hitaye rada our motto itself is vasudhaiva kutumbakam and then gita speaks of renouncing only three products what is that gita never says that the objective results of an action have to be renounced a woman has delivered a child she should renounce the child a person has passed an examination he should tear off the certificate what is it meaning so the objective results of any action whatsoever belong to the performer of the action so gita's renunciation is all always of mental and intellectual products so he says anishtam ishtam mishram cha trividham karmana phalam bhavati atyaginam preetya nadu sanyasinam kujid he says whatever result you get it falls into one of the three categories either the desired or the undesired or a combination of these two this is what happens actually so he says these three should be renounced and you must be able to live and move what accepting whatever comes and striving more and more i think it is beautiful and practicable we are only supposed to renounce that ishta anishta and mishra the desired or desirable undesirable and a combination of the two these are the ones to be renounced